What is up? What is up, Whale family? This is Nightmare here bringing you Hang Time, where we chop it up about NBA Top Shot, the market, fantasy basketball, and all things hoops and hype. Thought I'd hit you guys off with a little Joe Boo. As you know, we are just getting our Q numbers for the pack drop happening this afternoon hustle and show so i wanted to make sure i started off with positive vibes for everyone before we hop in and talk more about everything else going on with basketball with the market and i see that some members of our community are already in so congratulations to you uh joe boo was not kind to me Although I can say that this was most likely because last week I did get plenty of love from Joe Boo. So um, 170,000 for my Q placement. Hopefully you guys have uh, excellent Q numbers and don't have too long of a wait. But all of that being said, um, let's talk NBA. So uh, for the week, you know, continue to be another similar story. Injuries pop up, players being sat, things of that nature. So played havoc with any fantasy lineups that you had. Um, but I did have the pleasure of seeing my Boston Celtics make history with Tatum absolutely going off. The kid is an animal and it bodes well for my uh, in real life collectible cards that I actually have of both him and Jalen Brown. But being in the same sentence as Larry Legend at any point is incredible and coincidentally we did see a little bit of a, a hike in his market value on NBA Top Shot as well so that was very cool but speaking of NBA Top Shot over the past week very interesting stuff um, a lot has happened so let's go through it briefly you guys probably know the most of it but for those that, that haven't uh, let me catch you up so um, as far as market value is concerned, actually, the floor has been raised for a lot of value over the past week because of some different things that uh, Dapper Labs and NBA Top Shot had done. Um, there was about $17 million in sales. That was up about 2% versus the prior week, but we're up about 30% in transactional volume. So you can see the dollar value you know, of the transactions each day in the blue here. These white bars represent the number of transactions. And that was really driven by a ticketing system that they had talked about introducing. And so we'll get more into that in just a moment. But specific to the value of things in the market, you can see the whale vault continues to be at that $50 million range. And it actually dipped slightly below it on this site in the past couple of weeks. But you know, with the raise in the price floor because of what Dapper is doing, you can see that's um, gotten back above that threshold. And again, this is Moment Ranks. It's the site that I like for the valuation because it takes into account things such as the jersey numbers, what your serial is relative to the whole circulation and things like that. But back to this pack drop, which I am not getting into the hustle and flow pack drop um, that's dropping today. Interesting, it's a $14 drop base set moments. So this is again, more series two base sets, but uh, with flair. So about scrappy plays, people diving on the floor, making some amazing passes or saves or things of that nature. Um, and I like to think I'm a kind of hustle player like that, although I do injure myself all the time doing the same thing. So I'm either clumsy or I put in a lot of effort or some kind of weird combination of the two. That being said, I was hoping I could get in and snag myself a Marcus Smart being a Celtics fan, um, but I am not able to. So I will have to scoop that up in the market afterwards. There's about 140,000 packs, I believe. So a lot of packs going out and I am outside of that window um but most of you guys hopefully can get in and be able to snag some of those so some fun moments nothing that's huge value drivers i don't think when i took a look at the cards but they did actually sneak in a couple of cool um base series too that you can grab i think there's a lebron i think there's a lamello so there's still other cards in there also in addition to these flare cards that you could get and uh so that will be cool good luck to everyone that is getting in there's going to be a rewards challenge for this set i believe it's a Giannis reward so a nice reward to work towards and um one other thing you know we talk about dapper continuing to experiment with the requirements for some of these drops and so this being just a base set just a 14 dollars drop much lower requirement but you did have to own at least two moments to be able to participate 
so uh you know that was exciting that's cool that we have something new since we've had a lot of reiterations of the existing pack drops uh, for example cool cats which still has challenges running right now um also last week we had the pre-registration packs that had come out which you know was new you had a long window where you could hop in the queue and pre-register we notified everybody with the top shot tag on the discord that you could do that um, it wasn't as time sensitive to do it because you had a long window that being said it didn't actually work out for me i've snagged all these packs recently but was not able to get this one despite being pre-registered because something about the communication i just got wrong and, and you know it's probably on me because we're doing a million things but my interpretation of it was that if i had pre-registered once they opened it up to be able to purchase i could come back at any time prior to that purchase period closing and be able to grab my pack but that was not the case what happened was i had a ridiculous queue number it was like in the hundreds of thousands and i came back and it said my window had already opened up for 20 minutes and closed while i was gone end of story end of game so not really a big deal it's a base pack and i was lucky enough to actually score another base pack when they did a random stress test so i still have something but i just found that interesting that the one that i did not get was the one that was supposed to be the easiest to obtain and secure now that being said i haven't seen anyone else talk about this particular challenge although i did see someone else have something slightly different um so again just just some confusion on my part i guess on how exactly this process was supposed to work i thought that i could come back and purchase at any time but it didn't work that way for me so hopefully you guys were able to snag some of these packs uh if you were trying to the other thing i wanted to make mention and talk about obviously is is two parts number one there's been a lot of talk about these series one moments that they still had in their coffers that were not released obviously series one moments are very valuable to collectors to people that want to get the first release of their players and whatnot and there's some insanely valuable cards in there so what were they going to do with them they kept that tight to the vest for a long time and they had actually said that it was important to them that whatever they do they want to preserve the value of those cards to the market because people had invested in aftermarket people had you know made a lot of effort to collect and um i believe a quote that that someone from dapper had said was one of their stated goals is to respect the value of those moments and give them away and not giving them away in large quantities because if they did done that for free it would potentially disrespect the value of those cards and they don't want to do that so they came up with a new solution um, but what they're going to do is they're going to make these packs of these series mom one moments available um, in packs of four moments, which will include one base moment that has a small addition size of only up to 1,000 and three additional cards with addition sizes up to 4,000 potentially. And these packs are going to be dispersed slowly over 18 months. So that's a long time. That's a long time. Although potentially if you were able to snag it 18 months from now, it could exponentially be more valuable, right? But that being said, to secure these packs, they've created a trade ticket mechanism. So trade tickets is a mechanism to allow people to trade in their older moments. Say you have a bunch of moments sitting that don't have much value to you or you know you no longer want them because you use them for challenges you can trade in those moments and receive a ticket and these tickets can then be accumulated and used to get into these series one pack drops now what does this do if you're trading in these moments that are kind of junk junk mo junk moments or junk cards to you number one it takes them off the secondary market I know a lot of people, you know, they get what they want to save or use or accumulate from these packs. And then they immediately try to take the rest of those cards, put them on the market, let them go to someone else that has value to, and you can take that funding that you get from that to use to go repurpose and buy more packs. Well, obviously that sends those cards value down because everyone's just trying to unload them. So number one, if they're not going to go on the market anymore, that should slightly raise the price floor of them. And then number two, it actually gives them some utility in value where before there, a lot of them were just throwaway moments, right? So 
you may want to accumulate these so that you could just turn them into tickets. And in theory, that should raise the price floor. And I can say anecdotally, I took a look afterwards after this was announced and there were people that were snagging all of the low value moments and some of my lower value moment junk cards let's say uh had risen maybe 30 40 percent now granted relative to the value of those cards that's a few dollars but collectively if you have a lot of cards that could mean something and we'll see long term what this could mean to the market but it certainly changes things now, i know personally I would rather have seen a burn mechanism of some sort to literally take cards out of circulation. Um, but they had other plans with Dapper. And so, you know, they're going to flesh out. Obviously, they've looked at the gamification and, um, you know, what this is going to do as far as psychology in the market. And they believe this is the best way forward. So, you know, let's see. Let's see how it works. Um, it's unconfirmed at this point exactly how many tickets you will need to queue for these series one's packs and then what the cost will be how many tickets will you have to use to redeem a dapper has come on record and said it should not be a small number so it would be expected you need to have a decent number of tickets to be able to participate um, but we will see what those numbers are as we get closer they said when they do announce when the pack drop will happen and how many tickets it will cost there will be a, a window of time where people can go out and accumulate tickets. So, you know, you would expect during that time, anything below a certain pricing threshold will probably be scooped up. So an, an interesting thing that they're introducing as far as how it will affect the market. The first execution using this will not be for some months. They had mentioned the summer, you know, potentially that could be August, right? So we got possibly three, four months, but I think oftentimes, at least in, in my interpretation, these guys like to sandbag a little bit, um, which is good, right? They don't like to overpromise and under deliver. Most of the time they'll give you a timeline and it comes in a little bit before then. So the main point is they don't expect to use this until the summer. Uh, and a couple other points of clarification that they had come out with was, you know, the tickets are only used if you actually land a spot to buy the series one packs because there'll be a lot more people that should qualify to be able to buy then there's likely to be supply that they release especially if they're taking these cards and dragging it out over 18 months so when you use these tickets to be able to qualify and get in the queue that doesn't use them up they only get used up if you actually trade them in for the pack um and then those moments that you trade in don't get burned they will actually be redistributed to the community as these trade in recycled packs so what exactly that will mean ex as far as the market goes and why people would want to use that i'm not really sure but i would think that they have something else in the pipeline that would make that advantageous to do or else i'm not really certain why you would want to do that um, unless there's some hidden gems or some opportunity to get something that would be in there that wouldn't have been traded in if they slip a few you know you have uh, almost like lottery like odds although i know if you did that that gets into some issues with regulatory stuff just like it does with video games and with loot boxes so we will see uh, my point is i think there's something else likely to come because it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me that people would want to do that although you know i think um a couple of people in the community hooper dude maybe one of them had mentioned it might be something he's interested in so we'll chop it up at the end like we usually do have some q a and some discussion back and forth but for right now we will see what the future holds for that and and one other point on the trade tickets they do mention that the tickets will have more utility in the future beyond reserving these packs right so we will see exactly what that is um if there's some additional perks and gamifications and who knows maybe it ties in with hard court and the the game that they're developing or other things on this platform specifically but tickets will be used for more things beyond these series one pack drops uh what else is going on we had the certified ballers showcase uh challenge running and i think that wraps up tomorrow actually which um 
will be great just because we've talked about seeing that out there a lot it'll be cool to be uh not seeing that and have some different content in the flow of things and then likewise we have this cool cat six challenge running i think for three more days um for a zach levine so if you were interested in completing a challenge just so that that is not a gatekeeping mechanism that prevents you from getting into a, a rare pack drop in the future this one right now is only 148 dollars to complete and it's just a number of common cards i believe so it's just common cards easy to obtain on the secondary market here uh and you will be able to check that box off that you have participated and completed a challenge um one other thing i just wanted to make mention of is there was also a random stress test over the past week not series 2 release 32 but release 31 and i did grab a pack from that and we will rip that at the end of this discussion this week so let's talk swish and the results for week 16. did i rip it down i may have taken down the swish results well let's get that right back up interesting week in that um I actually rolled with Giannis and Giannis had that sprained ankle and got sat. So unfortunately, I am not part of the leaderboard once again, which seems to be a pattern after my couple of week run in the beginning, but a lot of familiar faces coming in to round out what looks to be possibly our last week of fantasy basketball, at least for the regular season. So props to Ed for once again, revisiting and, uh, you know, being a mainstay that we call out oftentimes here, he took down first place with no tiebreaker needed. Ed with the clean first place finish. It's tight for the second, third, and fourth spot. Deuces, spades, dotty, irate, emperor once again here showing in the top. Um, CD Bonbon, I wanted to say Cinnamon for some reason, I think because I'm hungry for a snack. Crypto Mike, Krishal, uh, SXZ18, who's been invaluable and in pointing out some different things over the past week. Props to you, my man. Thank you for keeping us informed on some different things that were happening. And Peter Parker snuck in here. He took a break from Queens. Peter, thanks for uh, taking a break from your um, superheroing. Give some shout outs to Miles Morales, who's a friend of mine and my little guy here and then nava guy squeaking squeaking in at number 10 possibly falling out if there's a tiebreaker role and samurai gets the spot but nava guy who seems like is always always on the leaderboard rounding it out so props to everyone for uh a sick week props to uh an amazing season definitely saw you guys hone your skills and some people just start crushing it towards the end interesting with the results here ed with the bradley beal move and not many other people following suit was absolutely genius um for the most part uh, the only variable here for the other players was really whether you ran luca or you ran russ for the assist slot but other than that things were pretty consistent across the board had i not run Giannis, i would have run probably luca with joker and my lineup would have looked like this and i would have finished in 14th place but i didn't i have to scroll way down here to 21st and that's where i am so maybe we'll have a shot at redemption i know that theo is taking down um the site there was no lineups available for this past week because he's working on some stuff in the background there's been murmurs about possibly doing something for the playoffs we really don't know if that is the case yet um but that being said let's take a look at the past week who was the major contributors and leaders from scoring front this is our weekly analysis provided by hooper dude hooper dude major props for you for continuing to support the community and show everybody what they should have done or shouldn't have done uh in my case but bradley beal once again crushing it sick move by ed on the two-point field goal slot and as you can see Giannis is not even in there um luca was actually a dark horse that a couple of people had played so i was interested to see that uh and then you know steph was obviously a great play so was dame lowry up here um could have been a sleeper if someone had won with it, but I didn't see many, at least not in the leaderboard, right? And then again, cheat code, Russell Westbrook assist card, 
continues to be, you know, the far and away runaway leader for like an MVP as secure the dub often says for the fantasy basketball league here in this assist slot. So block steals. We saw Rudy return to prominence Lonzo ball in there, but obviously doesn't have a moment, but just interesting to see. And then I guess if you didn't run Rudy, you didn't even have someone in the top listing here. So uh, a tough week from the defensive slot standpoint, luckily it doesn't contribute a ton of points as far as the swish league goes, but some nice plays by those who came out on top. So props to you guys. Um, will there be something for the playoffs? We don't know. We will have to see what Theo comes up with and what he's working on in the back end. Maybe it is a playoff thing. Maybe not. I know he's also working on kind of an evolution of fantasy sports with a Dow and all kinds of stuff. So who knows what he's in the lab chefing up. Uh, that being said, we have nothing going on for fantasy over the next week. Might be for the best since we're heading into the playoffs in two weeks. So really, a lot of people are going to be sat, rested. Experiments with lineups are going to be done. It's going to cause havoc, just like it does in fantasy football at the end of the year. So what I plan on doing personally is I think we should come back next week uh and talk a little bit more about some of the other sport car collectibles on the market you know we talked about mlb and their drop last week a little bit um you know we're getting slow leaks of things possibly coming with ufc on flow and from dapper labs the people that gave us top shots so that'll be exciting when that comes out i'm a big mma guy trained for a long time loved pride and ufc all of that stuff they have uh, a bunch of racing um, collectibles that have dropped as well as you know football or soccer whatever you call it so we'll have some discussions that go beyond the scope of basketball going forward and just talk about the sport cards collectibles in general who knows maybe someone will convince me to grab a horse and zed run or something but that being said since i do not have a pack here that i can rip open and i will not sneak into this queue i do have just a base common pack and i will open with you guys And there you go. I just got three trade tickets, right? So <laughs> case in point on, on, on the type of cards that you may use for that, unless you're a big fan of these guys, in which case, hey, maybe you want them in your collection. If so, give me a shout. Maybe we can make something happen. Uh, so that being said, let me take a look through the chat and see if we have any stuff that we want to chop it up about a little bit before we wrap up for today. Hopefully you guys got some packs that you're waiting for and you'll be able to jump in and share with us all all your awesome polls so let's see how many packs are dropping today lady warboss had mentioned 140,000 packs and she said she's 142 in line lady warboss i would hang because some people may have issues and uh you know get dropped out or maybe trying to game the system you never know Lady Warbus says she always does. I'm glad to hear it. Paul has to wait a bit of time here at 96K. Paul, congrats for getting in. Omega Wow says, do, I, do you want to enter? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. 15,000. NFT nine time for a nap. Yeah. Don't sleep through it. Like I evidently did with my, um, pre registration pack. It's just embarrassing. 
B19 base snuck in there. Nice. Good night also. Young Algae. Wow, you guys are crushing it. I'm glad we started with Joe Boo. Let me throw Joe Boo back on here for the polls. Don't sell your two moments while waiting in the queue. I hi you know what? I think the market's down, but imagine if someone was only in control of two moments and they were in this queue and trying to unload them. Unlikely. I think I got a bunch of degenerate sport collectibles in this group here. Yes, confirmation that people are scooping up tickets for the system. Malene was asking me who's number two in the Top Shot account ranking. I think you were asking about Mullen and Ranks, and that would actually be NBA Top Shot themselves that are number two. Their um, collection here is always listed below us. And Roham actually himself is on here. Pranksy, who we're familiar with, obviously in the NFT space. Back to Joe Boo for the mojo. Gosh, Easy's in there. What do you guys think about? Um, tell me your thoughts on MLB, on some of the uh, football and soccer cards, and some of the moto cards. What are your interpretation of those in the market and you know where should our focus be if we're going to talk and expand to things beyond nba top shot some people mentioning it would be good to burn them economically but it would be bad because basically those cards would just disappear because no one would want to hold on to them good point would that make them become insanely more valuable then as far as the people that do revere those particular cards and those players. As I'm scrolling, I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on the recycled packs and why it would be something you would or would not want to participate in. Tigbo says he got the dolphin roll and they shut down the league. Do not worry, my friend. We have lots of cool stuff we were going to be doing here. We will continue to do. I wouldn't be surprised if there's new iterations of stuff that you can participate with. But that being said, my man, we are two weeks away from the end of the season. So I'm sure you thought you were going to crush us all in one week or two weeks. But the odds were, you know, that someone else might, might sneak in there. Raggy says, looks like three tickets to me. You were right. Tigbo said he'll hold off his pack for the next stream. Tigbo, are you going to come on stream and rip it open with us? Hooper dude wants to talk Zed run. I will, and I might bring on uh, an old friend, Enrico Moses, who is someone who had an artist fireside chat with us, does some amazing work. He did some... Um, hoops pieces a lot of um hip-hop pieces as well he has a, a very cool gallery and crypto voxels and a lot of in real life work that he does but he's actually started up his own podcast relative to some different things including zed run and hip-hop and sports collectibles and so all around really really great guy so i might have him on as a guest he can chop it up and get us kind of uh maybe a little one-on-one on zed run for those of us that want to jump in that aren't already any rumors on the last two cool cats moments? Uh, I don't really like to project on that just because I've seen the rumors that have kind of run rampant on cool cat stuff be false a couple of times. Um, so not really sure if, if any of them have any legs. All right, so you guys, I hear that you do have moto packs. You do have some MLB wax packs. Uh, I have not been a big fan of the wax platform, but you know they've kind of chipped away at me with dropping things that I'm genuinely interested in, from sports collectibles to garbage pail kids to Atari cartridges. So they're they're definitely tugging at my heartstrings to get me involved on the platform. Ed said he'd buy the recycled pack to recycle it into three tickets. And <laughs> you have to buy it with tickets, my man. 
Ranky wants to talk college football. Interesting. Yeah, no, we'll def we're definitely down for some more generic sports talk as it comes up. Um, I say generic, general sports talk. So things that are pertinent to our interest as it's happening. Wax is nice for those of us just starting out. The barrier to entry is low. It is. It doesn't have the easiest ecosystem to get involved in. It can be a little bit cumbersome getting the wallet, um, grabbing what you need, and then going to the different marketplaces. I feel like it needs to be more streamlined. And it looks like once again, we have a volunteer for a rip next stream. Thank goodness. Cause I will not have any, you know what? I'm not going to jinx myself. All right. I think Joe boo is just holding out for bigger and better things for me. So there may be a surprise pack drop this upcoming week that I will get a pack from, and we will rip it together. Tigbo. Raggy saying he has a hustle and show pack. Raggy, do you want to come on right now and rip it? Or are you going to hold that? I know you like to hold out. Now, don't let us influence you. You have been amassing quite the collection. All right. Raggy says he can rip it if we want to see it. I'm going to make this a poll. Let's see. Should... Aki rip his rip his hustle and show pack right now with us or hold or way down the line. Put some emojis down below. Up and then I'll put one for down for no. Quick straw poll. All right, Raggy, it looks like the, the yeses are running away with it. I'm going to get the link ready. Let's see. Can I invite you while I'm in the stream? Let's see if this works. We're going to try it, guys. So I sent Radke the link. Either I exploded his computer or he's trying to sign in and not working. It looks like it worked. Right, you here? I can. All right, let me get the tab pulled up. I got good vibes for this one. You got Joe Boo on screen. You're going to be joining in. <clears throat> All right, we can see you. All right, let's go. All right, which one we go now? Let's go here. A badge to start off, not bad. Now you said you just like to that's random. My, that's the hustle and show, nice. Nice. Cool moment. Now when you play, do you rock the headband like that? When I played, I did rock the headband. Nice. Oh, this is his first moment. Very cool. Even though I'm not a big fan of him. Yeah, I was going to ask you, being a big college sports fan. I can't imagine. Duke boy. 
Yeah, yeah, throwing out the legs and tripping everybody, but two badges, so <laughs> two badges plus one of the new moments. Very cool. Yeah, not bad. I got excited with those Laker yes, symbols Le- coming up. Yeah, LeBron's right in the beginning of the moment, right? Can you run that one again? Did we lose your Rod King? No, but um, I can hear, like, your music is over power and everything else on mine. So I can barely hear my music. I'm not playing any music. Oh, you know what? It's my. Let's let's do this. Um... That, don't worry about it. I was just saying that in the beginning of there we go. Later... OK, so, sorry. It was actually the music coming from that tab. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. I was just saying at the beginning of that Laker moment, you could actually see LeBron. So that got, got made my heart jump a little bit. I know. I got a little bit excited there for a second. Awesome. Well, hey, thanks for coming on and showing uh, some, yeah, some pack rips with us today again. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll definitely get into some, some college sports as it comes up. Sounds good. Take care, guys. All right, everyone. Thanks, thanks for letting me rip that. Yeah, no problem. Good luck on your rest of your polls, guys.